All right. <clears throat> My game has no loading screens. Oh, we don't have the coins. Different location, though. Dear Madam, in response to your complaint regarding the gunshots coming from apartment 217, we have paid a visit to the tenant and he assured us that he does not own any firearms. He was fully cooperative and granted us access to the apartment. True to his word, we did not find any weapons or traces of using one. Should the noises persist, please inform the janitor. Zele Woodside Apartments Administration. Woof woof, say a roo, woof woof. Sarah Wolf 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 Sarah Wolf Wolf Boy Wolf 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 Sarah's ready for Wolf Wolf time. Hello. Does Square do anything? Hmm. So I really don't like melee on R2. Whatever. We'll keep it for now. What about left for Saru too? Give me that. Um. <clears throat> it's too early for me to have, like, a really concrete opinion. Uh, I will say that it is not a complete tire fire, as I was expecting so far. However, there is a, at least in this early section of the game, uh, they've taken what was a simple, relatively simple task of obtaining the key to the, get the apartment and stretched it out, patting it up the ass, uh, which made it really annoying. Um, combat isn't quite as fast and fluid as, as I was fearing, but it has its own types of jankiness, not on the good side of jankiness. Uh, but, you know, it's, it is what it is. Uh, one of the biggest things so far is that, um, at least for me, kind of the dreamlike 
elements of Silent Hill 2. The, the weird, surreal, dreamlike presentation of the cinematics in the game, it feels missing and gone. Voice acting by your normal metric of, you know, quality of voice acting is superior, but for me it just doesn't fit the characters just as much as the, uh, the professional voice acting that was in the HD collection. Hello? Is anyone there? Oh, so there's all sorts of, uh, <clears throat> other jank and bugs and unpolished that I have, uh, discovered thus far. I'm not a fan of Melee being on R2. I do appreciate that it's not, uh, super, you know, you could turn off tutorials and stuff like that, and, uh, you can, uh, basically just, just go in with, uh, less HUD. Like, I, I've tweaked the HUD to my liking, but you can completely disable the HUD if you want. So far, it hasn't been, can't look at this class zero to ten. Uh, it hasn't been, um, too handholdy. Performance is kind of dog shit, though. Uh, it's supposed to be 60 frames a second, but I'm getting stuttering every now and then. At least as far as I know, performance mode is supposed to be 60. Oh, good. We're probably going to get attacked the minute we get this flashlight, and then you'll see. Combat. Yep, there we go. And, I lo and yeah, quick time events fucking suck. The combat dodge isn't as terrible as the combat roll from Homecoming, but it's clear that they have designed the, 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 the fight encounters around this combat dodge, so if you're not using it, uh, you're gonna get fucked up pretty badly, which is annoying, because I kind of wanted to, uh, go through the game without using the combat dodge, but it's not really possible, at least not right now. Which is, a uh, pretty, pretty disappointing. These clothes. Oh my god. Yeah, cheap viewers don't get fucked, you piece of shit bot. <clears throat> I, I suppose, to be fair, this is Bloober's first game with combat. So, it was bound to be a little janky. It's been so long since we've had the rise of time ghosts. Wanna get famous? Uh, but yeah, like, hold on, let me, like, my recent playthrough of Silent Hill 2, right, um, let me just double check, so this first stream was, apologies, this first session was like three hours long, And I explored every nook and cranny uh, in in this recent playthrough to get as many resources as possible. Uh, and we enter the apartment at about 25, 20, 25 minutes. Uh, it took me almost two hours to get into the apartments in this particular game. Because instead of just going to a location and getting a key, you have to solve all sorts of micro-puzzles now and explore new areas that weren't present in the original game.
And I mean, they weren't like the worst areas to explore and the puzzles weren't terrible, but it's just like, I don't, I'm not particularly keen on taking something that was one length and stretching it out. Okay, maybe this is for the upper floor. It's also kind of sitting on the fence between wanting to be a faithful remake and wanting to be a reimagining remake. Where some areas are very faithfully recreated, and then other areas are, uh, are not. Okay, so where's the shoot area then? Can't get the third floor. Shoot area's gotta be second or first, right? Unless it's something for outdoors. It's 201, that's a different key. So we really can't... Shoot courtyard. It's, uh, maybe this is for out front. Cause this is a new key, baby! <sighs> Like, for me personally, there's a lot of stuff about Silent Hill 2 that can't easily be replicated, right? It can't be... It's difficult to recapture. And, vis like, just because you've done a, a, a pretty intense visual overhaul to make it all, like, you know, 4K and shit like that with modern graphics doesn't necessarily mean you've captured the look or feel or even exactly what I liked about the visual style of the original game. Oh, to even leave the apartment. So, okay, well, fuck you then, game. There it is. I thought I interacted with this already. Whatever, it's fine. Oh, good. I love, I love push block puzzles that weren't there in the original. I am also curious. RE4R, I, I, it, it's another game that I felt uh, shouldn't have been remade. Uh, mostly for different reasons. Uh, in the sense that, like, Silent Hill 2 is, is, like, a lot of it can't be recaptured, I think. A lot of it is a product of its time, right? Whereas RE4, I felt it was, like, really redundant. I love la I love, I love, I love push block puzzles. This is exactly what Silent Hill needed. It is 100% what Silent Hill needed to push a block so I can vault through a window like The Last of Us or Uncharted. Kane's sibling murder. Perpetrator commits suicide in custody. Uh, oh my god, I wonder if they're actually going to reference more of Silent Hill 4. Uh, Walter Sullivan, the culprit in a recent homicide case, was found dead having taken his own life on the morning of the 22nd in his jail cell. According to police statements, Sullivan's death was caused by blood loss resulting from severing his uh, cartoid artery with a soup spoon buried two inches in his neck. Sullivan was apprehended on the 18th of this month on account of brutally murdering Billy and Miriam Locaine. Even though Walter did not strike the, a former schoolmate from his hometown of Pleasant River as someone capable of murdering children, schoolmate admits to having witnessed Sullivan in a state of severe paranoia shortly before his arrest. He's blurting out all sorts of strange stuff, like, he's trying to kill me, he's trying to punish me, the monster, the red devil, forgive me, I did it, but it wasn't me, he recounts. I guess now I think that I think of it, he was kind of crazy. Interesting, the note is, is, was kept almost word for word. And despite the fact that uh, Walter is, you know, used as an antagonist in Silent Hill 4.
Oh, it's bugs, right? Hey, where are you? You squiggly little shits, where are you? Hey. Oh, God, we're, sh we're shattering. Hello? No, I was mentioning this last night. Uh, once I make sure I'm not in combat. I Some people find it really impressive, the fact that, like, you can open your map and it's not, like, an, like a thing. Or, um, you know, if I go to memos, right, I decide I want to read a memo. Uh, or investigate a memo, it's, like, out in the real world. I don't like that because it means I could potentially be attacked while looking at my map or investigating reading items and shit like that, which wasn't a thing that could happen in the original. I would have much rather just had a dedicated screen, personally. Hey, what the fuck? I didn't even see you. Get out of here. Get out. But also, apparently they added two new endings to this game. So I also probably will not be able to... ...completely... ...judge the game until I know what those endings are. Uh, I do know that if this game decides to... If, if, if the alternate endings... Uh, the new endings uh, set up that this is a sequel to Silent Hill 2, all of Final Fantasy 7 Remake, uh, then fuck this game. Because I am so fucking sick of the remake sequel. Yeah, so they've completely expanded the size of, of the apartment complex for some reason. No, no, I'm not loving it. It's better than I expected, but I'm very, very whatever. <laughs> Correct. Correct, Jer. Nobody, nobody from the first game is mentioned or is in this game. That's also one of the reasons why uh, some fans at the time hated Silent Hill 2. Original Silent Hill 2. Yeah, same! I personally like the fact that this game, the original Silent Hill 2, had nothing to do with Silent Hill 1. I think that was a brilliant decision, and I wish more sequels would do that. They did. They've they've completely redesigned the apartment. They also added a whole bunch of shit in the section right before um the apartment, which is why it took me like 2 hours to get into the apartment. <coughs> Where in the original it would normally take you like 20 minutes. Huh. Quite the artist. Yeah, the rooms are definitely a lot bigger. And that's fine. Uh, layout being different is also, I suppose, fine, but again, they were billing this as a faithful remake. And it's more, as I was saying, it, it, the game so far is kind of this 
on the fence where some er aspects are a faithful remake, faithful like one-to-one -one remake, and others are a more of a reimagined remake. Hey! That was easy. Uh, but as I was also saying at the start of the stream when Lee popped in, uh, the biggest the biggest takeaway so far for me uh, is that the uh, dreamlike quality of the original is just it's just gone. You know what? This is actually getting fucking annoying me. If it'd be one thing if it was like, oh, you're like on the verge of death or really low health. But the fact that it appears like basically like when you get the mid health is really annoying too. Uh, this is made with Unreal, uh, uh, Jir. I mean, it probably is, but am I, am I still, uh... I still would prefer to see Silent Hill 2 OG properly preserved on modern hardware. Just, just, just slap the original up on GOG, please. So I can, uh... Give you money, Konami. There are dozens of us, I swear. There are plenty of people who would be willing to give you money, Konami. To be able to play OG Silent Hill 2 on modern hardware. Oh no. You know, if I'm gonna be honest, I think combat in this game is shittier than it is in the remake, or the original. Like, sure, the new combat system is, uh... Your typical older over-the-shoulder shit, right? But that doesn't necessarily make it a better combat system. This new game seems to be designed around the idea that the combat system is like something out of RE4. Where enemies are a lot faster. Hit harder. You can dodge and all that fun shit. Uh, but truth and, and, you know, they're a bit maybe spongier slightly. Resources are scarcer. Right? You got to be more methodical with your decisions. Uh, but ultimately, at least for me anyway, because of the fact that it's trying to ape a modern combat system. And it falls short... It's not great. In the, not in the sense that it feels like it's deliberately trying to hold stuff back, right? Like, because James Sunderland is supposed to be an everyman. 
it mostly feels like the devs a, a devs first attempt at doing a combat engine Silent Hill 2's combat is stiff and unwieldy for sure but everything was built around the fact that the combat system was stiff and unwieldy Healing items feel scarcer. Uh, the the amount of ammo you're getting per 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 drop is also scarcer as well. Play detention, home skillet. If you liked devotion, play detention. Also play mundan. You better stay dead. I'm also going to be hypercritical of Pyramid Head's first reveal, whenever we get there. Should hypothetically- Hey, there we go! Alright, alright! Kudos, they didn't make it overblown. He, Pyramid Head's just doing what Pyramid Head was doing in the original. No big song and dance number, no stupid cinematic. Pyramid Head's just standing there menacingly doing his Pyramid Head shit. I am fine with that. Again, I am I am willing to give credit where credit is due. Uh, but I'll still be a snarky asshole about just about everything, though. I have, yeah. Uh, it has. It. I haven't played it in a while. I, I. I've been meaning to replay it on stream. Devotion is one of the very few walking sim horror games I have played that I genuinely think is fantastic. It's from the creators of Detention. Uh, Red Candle Games. They also did that recent uh, Nine Souls thing, which I would love to play at some point, like the full version of it. Uh, I'm supposed to use this handle somewhere. I mean, clearly I'm supposed to. I just don't know where. Um... And I've mentioned I've mentioned Red Candle before, Jir, where... My 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 time spent with detention and devotion was so strong, Jir, that if Red Candle was announced as the developer of the Silent Hill 2 remake, or Red Candle was just announced to be doing a Silent Hill game in general, I would have complete fucking faith in that project. There we go. Okay. Here's here's the room. Because devotion and detention understand the assignment of 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 really strong psychological horror. Um, they understand having the the ability to tackle difficult, sensitive subject matter. Right? They understand everything. Uh, they haven't done combat until Nine Souls, uh, but Nine Souls isn't a horror game. Um, and I hear that's pretty good. But they completely get it. Whereas, uh, with Bloober... Uh, Layers of Fear is dog shit. Due to the ongoing renovation works, tenants are asked to keep out of the third floor of the building. Huh. 
Yeah, he was plenty sexy enough in the original. Also, Curse, thank you for telling chat that I'm not sexy enough. I do appreciate that. At least Cursed finally has come to the understanding that, that I'm I am a troglodyte. <laughs> uh let me guess. Immediately we're gonna get a monster? No? Alright. No, but of course we gotta fucking examine every goddamn item we fucking pick up. Alright, how much fucking ammo do we got? 26 and we picked up like a billion, billion fucking boxes of ammo. God damn it. Whatever. Okay, so we have a gun that doesn't really. Uh, I mean, presume, unless they do the spooky, the spookies, which they're probably gonna do the spookies. Let me fucking move! Don't have the main character just stop, you bastards. Oh my god. Seeing the skip button constantly appear on screen whenever I, like, touch a button on the controller or, like, the control stick is really fucking annoying, too. But that's not just a Silent Hill thing. A lot of games do that. I don't give a fuck if he's scared. I'm trying to see if we can, uh... I mean, they put a blanket over him so you can't really see him because the original was a fixed camera angle. But based on the pants... It's kind of similar. 212, huh? But again, I've already seen uh, some sequences uh, from later on in the game uh, that really upset me. Um, that I would say are uh, absolute dog shit. So, that's going to be fun. His name was Jeer Jeer. He was a Jeer Jeer with a ribbon in his hair and a dress way down to Jeer. At the Jeer Jeer. Jeer Jeer Jabana. Eh. Hey, that's cool. I wanted to interact with the fridge, not vault over the fucking counter. Uh, it's too early to tell, home skillet. Uh, I, m I would recommend if someone has never played a Silent Hill game and if they are okay with emulating to just play Silent Hill 1 and Silent Hill 2. That's, that's what I would do. Um, if you had never played a Silent Hill game. Again, I, I, I am not going to be able to formulate a, a recommendation on this game until I've actually beaten it, and I've seen the entire thing from start to finish. <clears throat> like, Silent Hill 2, the original. It's one of my favorite games of all time, right? And there's a lot about it that you can't strictly replicate or recreate or whatever to me remake like 
There's certain games where I don't necessarily mind them being remade, even if I love them. Silent Hill 2 is like... high art, right? It would be like if somebody tried to remake a David Lynch film, or remake Citizen Kane. For me. It feels like a terrible, stupid, sacrilegious idea to do with that. Or remake... Something that is already... One of the best at what it does, right? Come on, stop fucking fucking ass, dude. Play novel's pretty dope. Like, the original Silent Hill is, is, is incredible to this day, I think. I would also kind of argue that if... Again, no, no disrespect to anybody who's looking forward to this game. No disrespect to anybody who really wanted to play this game, because, or is excited about this game. All that's fine. But, I would say if somebody thinks that the only way to be able to experience Silent Hill 2 story, like the only proper way to do it, is with new graphics and a revamped combat system and everything like that, then uh, you're not really an advocate of games as art, are you? <laughs> Attacking the fucking corpse. I know there's a trophy for balloons, so I wanted to see if I could smack him with the thing with while saving my ammo. I think I'm just making making a make a save around here. I like being hit. I, I like the fact that they're able to stunlock me and I can't do the same to them. That's cool. It's really cool being at low health. Pick it up! Guy, pick it up. Pick it the fuck up! What the fuck? Don't tell me you can only carry a limited amount of ammo. Don't tell me that. If they implemented that as a change, I'm going to be fucking livid. Think uh, I must be cruel that this is a prison of your own making. The choice was yours. Don't waste you you over and over and over again. This time is not going to be any different, and I'll be here watching. I swear to God, if they did that evil within shit, I'm going to be livid. Okay. I need to find another handgun picket before I can properly tell, because I don't know why I can't pick- oh, there we go. That was just a shitty, janky place to pick it up. And it had one bullet. Beautiful. Pick up the gun. No, mister, you're gonna shoot me. It is. Oh no, it locked me in. 
Right where footsteps pierced through the night, left our homebound footprints with no owner in sight. But has he found home? Oh, please pray tell. Or a river of memories leading right to his hell. Alright. What's in the box? Well, this is a di if if this is different, right where the rooftops pierce through the night. Okay, so it's right, and left. Pierce through the night. Thirteen. Footprints, no owner in sight. <clears throat> I don't see any footprints, though. Unless there's, like, supposed to be, like, footprints on the wall? Somewhere? Unless there's more... Oh! There's an 11. Thirteen again. Oh, there we go. Okay, 13, 7, 11. Fuck. Fuck. There we go. We've done it. We've saved the city from the tyranny and oppression of the Dutch.
And how the fuck do I get out of here? I'm gonna go pee pee. Lee, you love Xerxes coins. That's why they call you Xerxes coin Lee. Come in here. Don't tell me I like soft lock myself. That would be really dumb. How the fuck do I get out of this fucking room? Okay, we got a gross poopy toilet. Oh, there we go. There's another thing in there. James, why didn't you take both at the same time, you fucking dork? Open up! But also, you love Xerxes coins, Lee. That's why they call you Xerxes coin Lee. <laughs> oh, boy! <coughs> Small staircase key. I mean, I agree, you know. <laughs> Who doesn't want to fucking have an orgy seat? I know Lee wants to have one, that's why they call him Orgy Seat Lee. Anyways, I'm gonna go get to the save point, and then I'm gonna BRB. I'm gonna get, get, a, get, get my stretch break on. I will, I will not tell your wife. I don't like hearing his panting while I'm trying to heal, but whatever. Anyways, uh, beer B. It just dawned on me. Maybe why critics are so gaga uh, over Silent Hill 2 Remake. It's because they're aping Last of Us gameplay with the fucking push boxes and breaking glass to get items. That's not the key door. Oh, I think JoJo wants in. Hold on. Sorry! No. He wanted to do another area. So I was like, oh, I guess he doesn't want to come in my room. And then the minute I go in and shut the door to reduce background noise. <coughs> Jojo decides he wants in. Classic war criminal behavior chat. Yeah, we did pick up one. Well... <sighs> Thank you. 
Small staircase key, huh? Hello? Where's the small staircase? Uh, up there, okay. <clears throat> you know, I really don't want to fight anymore. Hey, that's cool. You can you you can't even really run past enemies anymore. That's great. Oh, the lock just okay. Yeah. You know what? Actually. Yeah, again, that's, uh, uh, even this game kind of gets it, that whole, you know, when you, we, I mean, granted, they're not doing tooltips on a loading screen, but just, hey, loading's done, press a button. Can I actually evade and run past an enemy? Fucking hell! It was really cool in the original game where you could just, you know, run past enemies. Because, you know, you don't think combat's worth it. Or maybe because you're low health. We'll try it one more time and if we get hit, then we just get hit. Since ammo is scarce, I'm trying to save any and all of it for Pyramid Head. Assuming he's still the final boss at the end of the apartments. Alright, it looked a little dumb, but, you know, we did it. <coughs> Uh, well, let me see. Uh, OBS says for me that I have dropped zero frames. So, either it's Silent Hill and the frame rate is kind of shitty, or it's Twitch. That would be my guess. Meet Eddie. If you haven't seen Eddie's redesign, it's pretty fucking awful. I'm gonna mute during his cinematic, as I've been trying to mute during all cinematics. Hey, who's there? It wasn't me. I didn't do it. I didn't do it, I swear. Hey, are you okay? I didn't do anything. He was like that when I got here. You mean the man back there? In the kitchen? I didn't do it. I swear I didn't kill him. Yeah, it's all right. I'm, I'm not saying that you did. But my name is James. James Sunderland. Oh, um, Eddie. Eddie, okay. So, uh, do you live here, Eddie? No. I'm not even from this town. It's just... Something brought you here. Yeah. Yeah, you could say that. I... Well, they came at me. I didn't know what to do, so I ran. I came here. Figured it might be safe, but, but then I found the guy in the fridge. Easy, deal. deep breaths. <sighs> Look, this place, it, it's not safe. These things, and this whole town, there's something wrong with it. It might be best if you just get out of here. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Hey, you want to come with? Maybe together we can find a way out of this town. Oh, sorry, but I can't leave. 
Not yet, I... I need to find someone. Oh. And, uh, Eddie. Be careful. Yeah. You too. Yep. Yeah, he just is able to conveniently stop puking the minute minute he needs to talk. Again, like all the dreamlike quality and a lot of the stuff that made stuff uncomfortable in the original is just it's just gone. Well, I'm glad that the auto-targeting just doesn't work sometimes. So they've also increased the amount of uh, lying figures that, that are in the pool area. Spawning in? No. Okay. I was like, I don't want to get fucking bamboozled. Come on. Yeah, all right. Did the second one go? No, it went fucking back in there. Thing is, I don't trust that I won't take damage <coughs> when picking up an item, so I don't want to go in there. Come on, get out of there. This is, I suppose, another way to conveniently pad out the game. Oh, I have a gun, Jer. It's just resources are so fucking pitiful that I don't want to use it. I've picked up so many goddamn boxes of ammunition at this point, yet I only have 25 fucking bullets. Now, I, I would agree that the amount of ammo given to you, and the amount of resources given to you in ye old Silent Hill 2, was kind of ridiculous. I think on my recent playthrough, by the time I got to the apartment, by scouring every single nook and cranny, I had like 20 healing items. <clears throat> and, um, I think 
a hundred and fifty pistol rounds, something something ridiculous like that. So sure, if you want to make it like an actual survival horror experience, right? Tone that shit down. Uh, but similar to other recent horror remakes, for me personally, I feel as though they have tuned things too far in the other direction. Now, to be fair, you know, Eddie, are you gonna be okay? I don't care. I didn't realize that he was there. Um, balance is a tricky thing, and balance is subjective. What what is um, what is fair and balanced for one person is unfair and unbalanced for another person. It's the same thing with difficulty. But admittedly, Silent Hill 2 was never about the actual, like, survival horror experience. It was... It's an experience, it's a narrative, but, like... They gave you a shit ton of stuff. So you could, like, survive and experience the story and everything like that. That's the thing. I, I sc I've scoured every nook and cranny, Jeer. As best as I could. And, uh... We don't have much ammo, and we don't have much healing items, and I've burned through most of my healing items because of the way combat is in this game. I can't say that I am a fan of this combat system so far. Well, I mean, in the in, in the original, part of the reason why I would, like, have so much stuff is I, I wouldn't even look at the map. I'd, like, somewhat look at the map to see, to see what direction to go in. But I'd kind of, like, run in every direction, find shit, and do my best to avoid enemies. Cool. That is kind of this is kind of like the most sauceless you died screen I've seen in a video game. Uh, second floor I think. No, no, that was the third. Yeah, right. Yeah, all right. Yeah, the, 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 this game is going for the, the, the t the t style auto lock-on system for its combat, and, uh, it's kind of janky. Especially when there's multiple enemies in the, in the same area. Again, <sighs> Silent Hill 2's combat is janky, yes. There's no doubt about that. I don't think anyone would say... It is an it, 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 it is a smooth non janky combat system. And if they did, they're a fucking liar. Yeah, I love it's not a fucking reaction to getting fucking hit. For fuck's sake. 
But the, one of the one of the big differences is the Silent Hill Two combat system felt janky, like purposefully, like intentionally janky in some aspects, like deliberately slow and clunky when swinging melee weapons, deliberately slow and clunky when firing between shots because James Sunderland is an everyman who does not know how to handle himself. This feels like this is our first time doing a combat system, and we're not good at it. And again, because ammo has been so scarce so far, I don't want to use my pistol ammo. Because if this game is remotely similar to the original, then Pyramid Head's gonna show up. And with a fucking boss fight at the end of this section. And I want as much handgun ammo as possible for that. Also, to compensate the jank, Silent Hill uh, 2 original gave you a fuck ton of ammo and a fuck ton of healing items, which this game does not do. I don't heal yet because I haven't used it. It does have a difficulty setting, yeah. We're playing on normal. Or. Standard, or whatever the fuck it's called. Because it's using the fucking stupid... We don't want to call it easy and normal. And hard, because that might upset somebody. Um, I don't think he can change it in the... Yeah, so they have light, standard, and... Oh, they do call it hard. But a lot of games have been, like, trying to, like, rename stuff because there's a subset of gamers out there who, uh, get butt hurt by the term easy. Oh, good! I didn't even get a death screen. We're gonna go another way, see if we can find- Oh, good, more ammo. You know, fuck it. We'll see how much bullets it takes. Because, again, I'm- I'm- I don't have the healing for this. So I get to see how janky the comb- uh, the, the aiming is. It's interesting that the reticle isn't moving. When I'm moving, like, like, making it more difficult to aim. It does that... ...on a first, so we're doing slight minor weapons way. To indicate that James is inexperienced. Well, I missed a shot. So, three on that one. Miss. Three shots. And again, Silent Hill enemies took a while to, to, uh... to kill with melee in Silent Hill 2, but, uh... the distinction was they were a lot easier to avoid in Silent Hill 2. A ye old Silent Hill too.
And again, this game is also doing the, uh, we're gonna throw more enemies at you. Thingy thing. Like, there feels like there's more enemies in this than there was in the original Silent Hill 2. I know there is something here, I know I can feel it. It all looks normal, but it's not. It's underneath, pulsing, trying to get out. Is it trying to get out, or should I get in? I have to uncover it, rip it all, rip it to the surface. It's kind of making some noise, but I think with those, those leg enemies in this case, they're like, not moving and they're trying to be s subtle, and trying to be sneaky. When in the original, it's like, as you got closer to them, like, I don't know, it's, it's hard. No, the, the, the radio, the radio is on. Although I did turn off controller speakers, so maybe, maybe they're trying to, like, do more radio through controller speaker, but I turned that shit fucking off, because fuck controller speaker. So, like, yeah. You can kind of hear the right EO. God damn it! Oh, cool. The enemy is uh, going out through the wall. One in here. Yeah, this is the superior combat system, says game reviewers. Yeah, the radio effect isn't really as pronounced as it was. In the original. Oh, good. I just hate the controller speaker in general. Oh cool, so we're, ju we're just putting the canned juice immediately right next to the garbage disposal. Okay. Or garbage chute, rather. You know, I didn't need to see a cinematic. But thanks. Jeer, to be fair, this is this was in the original game. You dropped a can a six pack of soda down the garbage chute and it dislodged stuff for you to get for you to get an item. I cannot fault Blooper for that. I can fault them for the stupid cinematic that shows downstairs, because, again, we, we, you know... Yeah, but the, I, I think the impl- I mean, at least in the original, the, the, it's not- the, the, the stuff wasn't in the can. The stuff was in the chute. Stuck. I think we're done here. And it's been, I would have been well out of the apartments by now in the original.
I think my recent playthrough took me about five hours. So we're at roughly half the length of ye old Silent Hill 2 right now. The coin go. There it is. Good. Oh no, this is the wrong way. Three bright coins in the five holes be. First sits the maiden underneath the tree. The wind from behind the maiden doth blow. A beautiful flower alone has to grow. And here comes the man so sleek and so fine. In the pale moonlight his eyes doth shine. I don't have a flower coin. Oh! The man doth approach, his blade now revealed. His faith disappears behind shining steel. Away from the man doth the maiden flee towards the flower away from the tree. Interesting. It's a cross, huh? Where once grew a flower of venomous glee, where once was a maiden, but a stone doth be. And over her grave the man doth remain, his blade never met the vile serpent's fane. The beast who its teeth in her flesh doth bore, he who has failed, she who is no more, now unto you falls the grievous chore. Who carries the blame for the fate had in store? Hey, we did it. We've we've saved the city. Yeah, it's it's super sloppy and uh, it's also elongated. Because this is just three coins in the original that you just fucked around with. You put in an order and then you were done. You know, I would like to hope that this is super long because they decided to, like, I don't know, scrap the other apartment, but I don't think that's the case. I think instead... This is probably just as long. Uh, this is this is huge, and then that the other apartment is also going to be huge. Suppose we'll see. Yeah, fuck you, glass. Why did when I pressed up, it took me to the first floor? Whatever. 
I wonder if the devs before I do anything rash. No, it doesn't. It doesn't look like it can get over there. I was gonna say. I wonder if there's uh, some something for doing, going to like uh, apartment three hundred two or whatever. I think it's three hundred two. From Silent Hill Four. Granted, yeah, it, it's a different city, but still. Oh my god. Also, Lee, you love sloppy poetry. Oh, wait a minute. You know what? Okay. I know what the janky, the choppiness is. I know exactly what the choppiness is, and I'm really mad. Can I pause during the cinematic? Yes, I can. What's causing it is the fucking Elgato. Even though I've been doing my best to avoid it, uh, this seems to be a re more reoccurring issue every so often when I stream from PS5. Alright. Hopefully, no more choppiness. No, it's the HD, uh, HD60X, I believe. But yeah, I mean, to be fair, they're just copy-pasting how he was handled in the original right now, but... They could have made it dumb! Yeah, my solution was to launch Elgato after I launch OBS, and I did that t for stream today, but I guess it didn't properly work. Yes, agreed. But I'll still get blooper shit because I'd prefer a normal, a new Silent Hill, as opposed to a remake. Also, never use Pyramid Head ever again in any other game. Konami, don't stick Pyramid Head in Silent Hill Ascension 2. Ascend harder. Pyramid thing. Handkerchief, huh? I'm gonna beat off with this later. Uh, is there anything else of note in here? It doesn't look like it. All I did was close it, close the app and relaunch it. I am kind of upset though, because that means, uh, you know, even the recording is, uh, is fucked up. Slightly. It's great. Yeah, you remember, what, you remember when I was streaming System Shock, Lee, and it was all, like, skippy and shit like that? That was, that was, it was from that. I don't understand why this has been happening from time to time. The first time it started happening was with Stellar Blade. That I'm aware of, anyway. 
Maybe it's something with the my graphics card, or maybe it's something with the software. I don't fucking know. Few things could handle the ass that is a stellar blade. Well, two B's ass could handle it. Two B has the superior ass. A two has the superior ass. Kaine has the superior ass. Eve wishes she had a Yoko Taro dumper. All right. Nothing in here at all. So let's go. Although she is made by uh, gotcha waifu devs, so. Eve do have that gotcha waifu dumper money. Yeah, I think they increased the size. Yeah, they've increased the size or at least redesigned this. I think they've added more rooms as well. But again, this is a faithful remake, uh, allegedly. Again, I'm fine with 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 the reinterpretation remake. That's what Resident Evil 2 is. Why does this one look like it's in a gimp suit? I love it that they can vomit through my attacks now. Uh, and by love, I mean I, I think that's dog shit. I hate it. What the fuck? Okay, how do we get get out? Okay. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> the Cidic Spooge. I think they did more damage, too. Oh, you- you kidding- are you kidding me, Bloober? Faithful remake, guys! In the original Silent Hill 2, you could actually backtrack to the previous apartment. You could even leave the previous apartment. Silent Hill 2 remake? No backtracking. No, fuck you. Okay, so what the fuck? Every door is locked. Keep hearing radio. Oh, you want me to break down a wall? Got 31 bullets, or 41 technically. Oh, there it is. So these ones seem to explode in acid when they die. Gimp, Crim uh, Gimp Crimson Head is what they called me in high school.
You know, I don't really recall, or maybe 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 that was supposed to be that. But I, for me, the the second apartment building never felt like other world. Or is this is clearly other world shit? Hey. Yep, the clock puzzle. Pretty sure this was in the other apartment. If I recall correctly. in the original, but I don't... Yeah, no, it was. Henry fears Scott. He'll run from him and hide. He's fled to the west, to the other side, but here comes Mildred with unknown intent. Scott lays face down, blind to her descent. No, we're, we're in the second apartment now. We're in the uh, the second apartment from the original game. It's just, again, they, they uh, despite claiming we're, this is a faithful remake, they moved the puzzle from one apartment to the other. Again, if Blue, I'm fine with you doing a reinterpretation remake, like Resident Evil 2, right? Uh, just don't tell me that it's a faithful remake, because to me, when I hear faithful, that sounds like a one-to-one -one remake. Maybe that's just my interpretation of it. But I expect, like, the medieval remake, or, or... Fucking crash and Spyro. <sighs> and maybe that's a me thing. Uh, came in from the balcony. There doesn't appear to be. Oh no, we're we gotta do this. So we can make squeeze throughs, baby. I don't know why this is a thing. Hey, get away from me! Yeah, the, the radio static is not very good in this game. It's too... it's too... it's too... It doesn't sound neat. Oh no! Oh. 
Is this backtracking or no? No. In that case. Fuck you! If you get up, I'm gonna be very upset with you. Let it be known, I have clubbed both of these, so if these assholes get up as some part of spooky jump scare, Bluebird can fucking suck it. Something nearby. I don't know why there's so many corpses. They've overcomplicated the size of this goddamn apartment. We are... I mean, Pyramid Head should be like a... If, if this is like the original game, Lee, Pyramid Head's gonna show up as a boss fight as we're leaving this apartment. So... That would explain things. To an extent. Uh, I don't, I don't, I think there was just the one, may, I don't even remember. I don't even remember it being a thing in ye old Silent Hill. But no, it, no, it was one, in the prison, I believe. Yeah. Where you had to, uh, when you got, we're like, in a well. And you had to uh, break a wall to get further access to uh, the, the historical society. Alright, we're almost at two hours. I'm gonna do another BRB stretch break because I have no... I wanted to, to do the next BRB after we left this apartment. And, you know, we got back onto the streets of Silent Hill, but... I have no fucking idea how, how big this, this second apartment is, so... BRB.
Just realized it was still muted. I'm an asshole. I thought I saw a marker there. Oh, dude, I, fuck off! Just add it to my inventory, goddammit. Is this where I came from? Where did I come from? Oh, so we're not taking the valve? So what was the point? It's too high. Sure, I clubbed you. It's a ladder? No. Kind of looks like a ladder, though. There's another wall I gotta break down somewhere. Or not. Eat a bag of dicks, Blooper.
You. Oh, I gotta hold it. Oh no! Oh! Yeah, this is definitely a more combat-centric version of Silent Hill 2. I don't like how much ammo I'm using. I just went in a circle, I'm an idiot. Where's the... the fuck is that radio? Can't go through that way anymore. Uh, something in three o three that we three o four that we missed. Now we take it. Okay, yeah, sure. Previous one we didn't. Now we do. For some reason.
We're going the wrong way. Wrong way. Credit where credit is due, also. There have been very... There, there's been, like, no instances of the character talking to themselves. There has not been an overabundance of dialogue for the sake of dialogue. And I can respect that. Immensely. It's kind of one of my chief criticisms of modern AAA games. And... It's something I was 100% worried about for Silent Hill 2 Remake. Okay, now where the fuck is, was that clock? It's on the second floor. I don't remember how to get there, though. I'm sure we'll figure it out. Wasn't through here. Wasn't through here. Sure shit wasn't through here. Oh, that, that, yeah, that would be pretty bad, and that'd be pretty cringe. But I'd be, like, you know, walking into, uh, you know, as I'm wandering around, James Sunderland going, Huh, I need to figure out how to get that radio, or, Huh, I wonder what's up with that clock, you know, like, stupid hint VO, or whatever, to remind you of what to do. They have turned bits and bobs of text into, like, voice-acted dialogue. It's kind of par for the course with modern games and modern remakes and stuff like that. I kind of wish it was still just, you know, text, because I don't mind reading. I like that, like... James Sunderland is, is, is a cockney British gangster. Uh, that said, again, this, this section doesn't need to be padded out, and it's padded out, like, well, and it's kind of annoying. I'm sure somebody who's, you know, never played the original Silent Hill 2 will be like, What do you mean it's padded out? It's like, compared to the original, this this is entirely padded out. I'm sure the average jolly who plays video games will be like, Well, it's a longer game. It means I'm getting more money, more bang for my buck. And it's like, certain stories can't necessarily fit a longer runtime. Uh, and also... Uh, when you're playing a emotionally draining horror game, uh, a longer runtime is not necessarily a good thing. Uh, since, you know, it's an emotionally draining fucking horror game. Uh, that can lead it to outstay its welcome. Alien Isolation isn't necessarily emotionally draining, but it certainly fucking outstays its goddamn welcome. It is a way too long of a fucking game. <coughs>
Oi, 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 what's all this, Shen? You fucking what, mate? I'm James Sunderland. I'm looking for my wife, Mary. Top of the morning to you, Governor. I need some tea. Tea and crumpets. Oi, 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 this slag looks like my late wife. What the fuck, mate? But she's kind of hot. What am I going to do? Oh, yo, yo, you geometry shaped fuckwit. Uh, let's see here. The original was Henry Mildred Scott. Henry was up there. Maybe I have to... Yeah, there we go. Okay, so that opens... Yeah, that opens this. Yeah, Evil Within is, is also too fucking goddamn long. And outstays its welcome. It doesn't help that Evil Within is not a very good game. I like Alien Isolation until about the halfway point, and then it's just fucking annoying and, and a slog to get through. Anyways, let's let's go with more Cockney James Sunderland. Oh, fuck Eddie. He's kinda creepy, mate. Oi oi oi. Oi, 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 what's this fucking little child doing running around here? You fucking what, mate? Oi, 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 I gotta stick my hand in this poopy water. This thing making me press multiple buttons. Also, hold on, how did he get his arm? Up to his shoulder into the toilet. Whatever. Oh my god. The the apartment is, is going going haywire. Oh, this fucking apartment is falling apart, mate. We're a town called Silent Hill. It sure is fucking loud. Oh, you gorgeous wanker! Get the fuck away from me! Oh, fuck. Oh. If only Jeff or Ashy or Prinny or Jasm were here to uh, judge my, my terrible British accent. Oi, 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 you fucking what, mate? I mean, you can, but you're not British. Unless Jeer's secretly been British this entire time. Best viewers, eh? Best viewers on what, you fucking cunt? Stop whispering into my asshole. Okay, so what, 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 is there anything of note in here? Just a question mark? Ah, it was glass. I didn't realize there was glass. Malformed figure, the fuck is this shit? Oh god, there's a fucking enemy here. For a place called Silent Hill, this place is so fucking loud as tits, mate. The fuck out of here! Wow, five bullets? Okay. Yeah, I mean, go for it. Especially uh, because my ass is fat and bulbous, so there's plenty to judge. <laughs> oh, you cerulean! 
Talk for the morning to you, Governor. I'm James fucking Sunderland. You're looking for my slag of a wife, Mary, who died. Oh. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, what do you need? Oi, 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 I gotta break down this fucking wall. Alright, I'm gonna try to conserve more ammo. Because, uh, you know, Pyramid Head. And the amount of ammo they give you is pitiful. Unless it's one of those fucking gimp suit assholes, then, then I'm gonna fucking shoot him. Sounds like a duck, eh? Oh, man. Uh, you fucking what? Me? You fucking what? What's your own son? Don't even hit me there. We are. We. We. I was making uh, uh, comments about how um, credit where credit is due. Uh, there hasn't been an annoying amount of hint dialogue or dialogue for the sake of dialogue in this Silent Hill 2 remake, which is a ginormous fucking criticism I have with modern AAA games and something I was 100% expecting in Silent Hill 2 remake. And so far, I have been proven wrong. So far. Uh, there's still the rest of the game, so who the fuck knows? Especially when we get to Maria. Uh, and then Lee and, uh, I think Cursed were, were, were making jo joke, uh, hint or dialogue for the sake of dialogue things. And just glancing at it, it seemed British. So I like the idea of a, of a, of a Cockney James Sunderland. Uh, so, you know, I figured as a dumb, fat, idiot American, uh, it was, uh, my civic duty to do a really fucking terrible American accent. Or, really terrible British accent. Uh, to make an ass out of myself on twitch.tv slash saber0307. Sm- Oh. Subscribe! Find me Mr. Beast like rich people. Who will simp. Yeah, yeah, it's because I'm being a little bit loud. NVIDIA broadcast tends to do that. Hypothetically, I probably don't need the, the, the intense, uh... Because there's not a lot of background noise, but I'm doing it anyway. Uh, oi, 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 you fucking what, mate? I stole me keys up me bum. You what, mate? You fucking what, mate? Oi, 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 what's all this, then? Yeah, it was kind of funny. Uh, when I was working at Naughty Dog, uh, we had this co-worker, his name was Louie, and, uh, he, he was from England. And, um... 
there were these, uh, 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 you know, South African uh, enemies in Uncharted 4, and, and they'd be saying, like, what's all this then, or whatever. And Louis was kind of annoyed with it, because, like, people kept doing it in, like, a mock British accent or whatever. And he's like, yeah, we don't say that. We don't say that. Brits don't say what's all this then, and everything like that. And anyways, uh, we, we go on Christmas break or whatever. Oh, there's a cinematic. Uh, let me finish the story, because uh, before... Um, we get to this emotional scene. Uh, go on Christmas break and we come back and my lead goes, Hey, Louie, I saw the uh, Im- uh, Intimidation game. And Louie's like, yeah. And uh, 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 he's like, yeah, it has uh, B- uh, Benedict Cumberbatch, you know, the, the British actor. And it's about like British World War II stuff. And Louie's like, yeah. And he's like, hey, g- guess what the first line of dialogue in the movie was, Louie. And Louie's like, uh, you know, I don't know. What's all you send? And Louis like, this is great. Terrible story, James. Oh, it's you. Yeah, I'm James. Angela. Angela. Okay. Look, I'm not sure what you're planning, but there's always another way. Really? What's the point? It's easier just to run. Maybe it's all we deserve. We? Me. You. We're all the same. I'm not like you. Are you afraid? Sorry. It's okay. Did you find your mother? No. Not yet. Did she live here? In this building? I don't know. So all you know is that she lived in this town? What did you say? How did you know that? I just figured, because this is where you're looking for her. How else would I know? Yeah. Sorry. Did you find the person that you were looking for? Not yet. Her name's Mary. She's my wife. I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. I don't know why I think she's here. She... died three years ago. She's dead? Don't worry, I'm not crazy. At least I don't think so. I have to find my mama. Uh, Should I go with you? This town really is dangerous. I know what you meant back there in the cemetery. No, it's okay. Besides, I'd just slow you down. What what about that? Uh, Will you hold it for me? Sure. No problem. If I kept it, I'm not sure what I might do. I'm sorry. I 
him in bed. Please don't. There we go. Gotta add that. He of resilience, huh? Yeah. Smash this? No. Although it makes breaking sound effects. James sounds too fucking. What the fuck? The game really doesn't know what to do when the camera's close to a corner. Oh, I know. It almost I think it was almost clipping outside the world. Of the farts. Is there a save point? I get the sense that we're gonna be. F no, it doesn't look like it. All right. This is pyramid head kerfuffling. This pyramid head pyramid heading around. Or I guess I should call him by his full and proper name. Red Pyramid Thing. Good. Squiggles McGillicuddy. I mean, py pyramid, py pyramid head hangs down, dude. Pyramid head's got like... Ah, oh, he's probably got like a fucking three foot long dick. I don't really have 
A complete opinion cue. I won't I won't really know how how I feel about it until the end of the game. There's aspects that I think are admirable. Uh there's other stuff that I don't care for. Uh this would be Mildred. That's like around the one. No. M on the door. Uh, what I can say is right off the bat that the game feels much more bloated than the original. Because what uh, would... I've been playing this game now for... I think it, it did like two hours last night, and we're now at uh, two and a half hours now. So four and a half hours. Uh, PlayStation claims I've only played this for three hours. And then I'm 25% of the way through the game, right? Um, my previous playthrough of Silent Hill 2, which I did like last week, uh, was... It took me five hours to get through. Now, granted, I am familiar with that, but for comparison's sake, to get into the apartment in Silent Hill 2, it took me about 20 minutes, and that was also exploring everything, every nook and cranny to get, like, resources and stuff like that. To do the equivalent in Silent Hill 2 Remake took me, uh, two hours. Uh, and I don't see that as a positive, personally. I see it as excess bloat and fucked up padding, personally. Moon... Thingy thingy... Uh... Uh... Okay. Death head, death head. Or moon? Or crescent moon? Oh! So four crescent moon minus... I think that's the death head? I don't know. That's that's a death head. <laughs> also, I'm kind of uh, also uh, as I was saying earlier, I'm kind of of the mentality that uh, horror games shouldn't be super fucking long. Uh. Personally, uh, especially when it is, say, a uh, super emotionally draining. And early reports indicate that this game is like 18 fucking hours long, which I think is way too goddamn long for a. a horror game. Uh, let alone the fact that, again, it's remaking a, a game that was originally, like, five hours if you knew what you're doing, but on a first playthrough, probably closer to, like, eight to ten hours. Q is the president of GDQ. Oh, you're gonna make me press the button again multiple times. Yeah, this is- this is a panic. Just let me press it once. I don't need to fucking press it three fucking times. Q, buy me burgers. 
Send me, send me a border. Q is also the chief consultant in, uh... Uh, shooting raccoon simulator. You buy me burger. Q, why won't you buy me a burger? It really upsets me that you do this to me, Q. I'm so hungry. Rachi san, how's it going, dude? Uh, there's nothing for Scott. Face down, huh? It's a six. No. Great, right, there we go. You should also burn. Uh, Rachi a burger. Uh, Q. Don't lie to me, Q. How could you lie to me like that? Q, why would you lie to me about something like that? Uh, I think you owe Madri 18 burgers, Q. M on the door. Got the radio. 97 borgers is what uh, you owe Madri, Q. Two thousand and twenty two burgers is what you owe Madri, Q. Eighteen million three hundred and twenty seven thousand six hundred and sixty six burgers is what you owe Madri Q. The fuck were the stairs? Oh, we're going way too far. You got food poisoning! Q, why are you poisoning Madri's food? Q, the fuck is wrong with you? Why would you poison Madri like that? First you're just like... I- I have to- I have to bludgeon raccoons to death. And now you're just like... I have to poison Madri's food? Like... And then you just won't send me a burger? That's this, this really rude, Q. You can at least send me pizza. Wow, so, so quick to violence, Q. Yeah, that sounds about right. Q probably poisoned your food. She's probably like, tee hee 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 hee. I will poison Madri's food. Yeah, they moved where Pyramid, you fight Pyramid Head, okay. Hey! I didn't do anything. 
Why are you calling me a bully, Q? That's rude. Hey, get away from me. happened in the Goonies. Also, Q, you should give Jir tacos. And me tacos. And Madri tacos. I don't know how I missed that, but you know, whatever, I'll take it. This is the Dark Souls of Horror games. Hey, there we go. Get away from me. I wasted too much ammo on you. Get away! Yeah, you fuck. Oh, uh, it's kind of effective. It's more of a boss that you just, like... ...you away. I mean, I don't know how it's functioning in the remake. Okay, goodbye, you dummy sick fuck. <laughs> that section was far too fucking long. Hey, we're back out on the streets of Silent Hill. Siren Hill. All right, I am going to BRB, uh, get a stretch break in, and all that fun shit. So y'all, 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 y'all do what you need to do. I can't hear the 